Hello. In this video I will show you how to solve a Shingoki puzzle. The easiest starting point is to look for clues which are next to the border. The loop must go through the white clues in a straight line. This 5 is next to the border and we cannot make the loop go horizontally through it. So it must go vertically. Same goes for this 5. The loop must turn upon the black circles, and this 6 is in the corner. The only possible way is this. Now we need to make use of the numbers in the circles. The lines, which come out of this 5 have a total length of 2. Their lengths need to add up to 5. And we only have space for 5 steps from the top to the bottom of the puzzle. This means that the line should go all the way up and down. Now the 5 clue is completed. But if we take a look at the 6 in the corner we'll find out that it has a 5 steps line going down and a 1 step line going to the left. This means that the 6 clue is also completed. When a clue is completed, the lines, which come out of the clue cannot continue any more in a straight direction, as they will become longer than required. This means that the lines should make a turn. The line on the left should turn down and the line at the bottom can only continue to the left anyway. The 5 on the left has a space for exactly 5 steps line. So it should go all the way from the top to the bottom. We can mark the 5 clue as completed. Both ends of this line must make a turn to the right. The line that we draw act like a border for other clues. Let's take a look at this too. We cannot have a line on the left as it will create a branch. We can mark that with an X. The loop must make a turn in the black circle and now there are only two ways to do that. It can be either like this. Or like this. In both cases we have a line to the right. Now let's take a look at this white 3. If the line goes through it vertically, its bottom end will have to turn upon the black 2 and that will make a total length of 2, while we need 3. So the line should go horizontally through the white 3. We need this line to be one step longer. It cannot continue to the left. So it must continue to the right. And we can mark the 3 as completed. Look at this white too. It cannot be solved horizontally. So it must be solved vertically. And we can mark it as completed. Now the bottom end of the line, going out of the two must make a turn. This black two can now be easily solved. It cannot connect up, nor to the left. It must connect down and to the right. Now the 2 is completed so the line to the right should make a turn. We can also solve the last clue. The second line going out of the 2 must go up. The clue is solved, and the line going to the right should make a turn. All the clues are solved and we just need to connect all line ends, being careful not to create more than one loop. The puzzle is solved. In the next video I will show you how to solve a harder Shingoki puzzle.